okay, here's a word that bothers me and I want you to learn it today. Anthropomorphism. I always stumble over trying to pronounce it. I did okay right there. This is attributing human-like attributes to animals. But what we know through research is that what applies to humans does not apply to animals, especially white-tailed deer. So what we know about deer is that they bleed differently than humans, mostly in the clotting aspect of bleeding, and they do not feel pain the same way that we do. We know this through research. Pain with any living creature is a relative thing because we do not know how it affects animals. But what we do know through research is that levels of B endorphin, especially high levels of B endorphin, exist in white-tailed deer. Some research shows up to 10 times the amount of beta endorphin, that's what it stands for, is released into a deer's bloodstream upon an injury, upon excitement, upon a deer fleeing a certain situation. Beta endorphins are proteins that are primarily synthesized by the pituitary gland in response to stressors such as pain. This natural release helps support rapid healing. Endorphins consist of morphine-like chemicals that are emitted from the pituitary gland. If we want to compare this to a human, a human male at 18 years old has about five picograms per milliliter of beta endorphin in his system. That five picograms per milliliter is the lowest B endorphin level that a whitetail has at any time during the year, and that's normally in late winter. All things being equal, according to Canadian researchers, a whitetail buck in fall has 11, so that's more than twice, 11 picograms per milliliter of B endorphin in his body system. The researchers believe this allows the animal to not only heal rapidly, but also to experience little, if any, pain in the process. So in the case of a deer being shot, they really don't feel pain. Can you imagine somehow you got injured, you stabbed, you broke your ankle, whatever, and you had a 10 time pain threshold than normal? In deer, this is nature's way of allowing that creature to escape. They are a flight or flight animal. So that's one thing you should understand. 11 times the amount of beta endorphin in their circulatory systems. Okay, so that's a look at the differences between how we feel pain and how deer feel pain. Tune in next week and we're going to look at the science of hemorrhaging and how deer bleed versus how we bleed.